Okay, in this table, let's try to identify the level of output where average total cost is at its minimum. Well, in order to calculate average total cost, we'll go ahead and draw in another table. We need to take the total cost and divide it by the units of production. Now, of course, for the zero uh, level of production, there's nothing to calculate, so we'll just put a, a dashed line. At the first unit of production, total cost is 70, and we divide that by 1, and of course we get 70, so we can just record that right there. And then 90 divided by 2, and that gets us 45. So, so far average total costs are still declining. Then 100 divided by 3, and that gets us 33.3. And then 115 divided by 4, half of that would be 57.5, and then another half would be about 28.8. So we'll go ahead and write 28.8. And then at the fifth level of production, we have 145. And then 5 would go into 145, let's see, 5 goes into 14 twice, and then 2 times 5 is 10, and that leaves 45, and 5 goes into 45 9 times, so uh, we have 29 right here, and what do we notice is already happening? the total cost is already beginning to rise. So that means that average total cost already hit a minimum right there at 28.8. So if we back up, we determine that that level of output where ATC is its minimum is at four units of production.